what difference a bit of grey primer makes. Here we are. Here she is. That strange tan colour has been banished. The grey primer is showing off the fabulous detail work in the engines. And uh, my fears about the panel lines being a bit too deep uh, are unfounded. Um, they're pretty subtle, actually. It's only in some places up here near the front uh, they're quite deep. Um, but that's okay, I can get around that. Um, so there, there, there we are, all together, looking better. Um, I don't know if you know, but I do a podcast called Effectively Speaking, where myself and uh, uh, a varying band of co-hosts talk about uh, film and television special effects sequences. And um, we've already done one uh, regarding the, uh, the undocking of the Nostromo from the refinery. And uh, we had an interview with Martin Bauer. And I was wrong in the last video. It, it's not gun metal. It was actually zinc primer, um, a, a rub and buff zinc primer that they used for the Nostromo. Um, so that's the next thing is to uh, get a can of zinc primer. Um, I don't know if it's the same, going to be the same shade as what was used back in the late 70s, but it, it, it should, should be close enough. Um, the only other thing that I'm thinking of is... Um, looking at this just here on the uh, filming miniature there were some more prongs coming out the side and down so I was thinking about maybe putting them on before I get to the zinc primer bit um, the big question there is what is this stuff like to drill okay um, it's some sort of lightweight resin um, I don't know if it's hollow cast that's why it's light but it's resin and if it's resin you should be able to drill it. I just don't want to start drilling and, and, and something crack. Um, I'm going to arm and ah about that while I'm waiting for the zinc primer to arrive.